everyone. Welcome back to the Business Beat, Florida Trends Weekly News Roundup. I'm your host, Ami Alexander, bringing you the top can't miss stories for the week of June 25th, 2021. Life's Rewards, a new TV show set on the sugar sand beaches of Central Florida, has landed on Amazon Prime. The original scripted series was commissioned by travel marketers in St. Pete Clearwater, hoping to tap into popularity of movie and TV inspired travel with the aim of luring quarantine weary tourists to the area. A federal court has ruled in favor of Florida's motion for preliminary injunction against the CDC, clearing the Florida cruise industry for a return to open waters. The ruling, a legal victory for Governor Ron DeSantis, reduces the CDC's conditional sailing restrictions on Florida's ships to non-binding guidelines. Overall crime in Florida has fallen for the 50th straight year, according to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement's 2020 Annual Uniform Crime Report. 2020 saw a 17% drop in property crime versus last year. While crime in the Sunshine State remains relatively low, Violent crime in Florida ticked up 2.3%, with murders up 15% in 2020. Black farmers with Florida business ties will be at the head of the line for a pending batch of medical marijuana licenses, according to officials at the governor's office. Senior aides told the News Service of Florida that a new rulemaking process for black farmer applicants is coming soon and that the number of Florida medical marijuana operators in the state would nearly double. For more information, check out floridatrend.com. A bipartisan group of lawmakers is pushing for seasonal crop protections for Florida's frustrated farmers. Florida lawmakers from both sides of the aisle are turning their attention to the state's agricultural industry, racing to aid in-state farmers who felt unfairly positioned by previous and existing trade deals with Mexico. And that's your beat for the week of June 25th. We'll see you next week. Oh.